Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse is still some time away, and rumors are suggesting it could be even further away than most people are expecting. But let's not worry about that right now, because we got some good news related to the film. We got our first look at the film's villain, and if this is anything to go by, Miles is going to have a huge uphill battle in this third entry. So unfortunately, the image is rather low quality, and it's a storyboard image of the film. It is linked down below on the website. You guys can see it. Again, lower quality image, but because it's storyboard, you can understand exactly what's happening. And the person who provided the image, Can We Get Some Toast, actually provides some context in this. They reveal that this storyboard features Gwen Stacy and the spot from Beyond the Spider-Verse, but things take a different uh, route in this film because the spot has now evolved and grown and he has been augmenting his powers and he has now become a character called the abyss now we don't have too much info on this but keeping up with what he was doing in the previous film and the evolution chances are that what we're seeing here and him being kaiju size is obviously him growing and just absorbing all sorts of elements of multiverses if not literally the entire thing possibly entire universes to grow bigger and try to consume everything or throw it into the abyss somewhere where it's just completely destroyed and can never return i would assume that's probably a key part here obviously we see gwen she's not fully uh shaded or anything but we could tell it's gwen just by the hood and everything and it looks like she's calling for help so whatever is going on here it looks like it's going to be a huge action sequence and my guess is that this is probably somewhere early on in the film and then the rest of it is going to be like how do we prevent them from continuing to do this and now we must all reassemble, come together, and, well, uh, get out there and get things done. Whatever the case is, though, I'm super hyped for this film. I absolutely love the first two, so I'm excited to see where the story goes. It's going to be interesting to see just what they do with Abyss and how they handle this character. And uh, who knows? Maybe this entire film ends with a giant monster's ball match. Because the Abyss... Congrats to the six people that know what I'm talking about. You're the real ones. And then from the multiverse comes Judas Macias. Now congrats to those same six people who just had their brains rattled with something nobody remembers. 